What's the first thing you're going to do when Operation Underground launches? That's right. You're going to go for a swim. Yes, Operation Underground is now out in the wild. A brand new map for Battlefield 5. And, um, well, I've played about three rounds so far. This is a uh, unscripted live commentary, just going through some of my gameplay. And uh, I wanted to put this up as soon as possible because a lot of people out there uh, are wondering whether this map is like Metro or if it's a little bit different or is it like Metro from Battlefield 4? How does this, this really fit in? So I thought I'd make this video and kind of show you as much gameplay as I can from my first three rounds. The first round was Conquest and then the second two rounds, of which you're only going to see the first round's worth of gameplay because that's all I needed for the video, uh, is of Breakthrough. And that's part of the rotation that's now live in Battlefield 5. It's in the multiplayer menu. Operation Underground, Conquest, and then two rounds of Breakthrough, Attack and Defend. And uh, yeah, basically... It's just Meat Grinder Central, but so far, I've been having a really, really good time with it. And for those of you who are wondering, this is very, very different to the uh, the Operation Metro that you, you know and love from Battlefield 3. The reason it's so different is because it's just designed differently. It's got the same sort of cues that you expect from Operation Metro. If you've played that map in Battlefield 3, then you know what that map is like, but... There are quite a few differences that a seasoned Battlefield player is going to notice. The Metro Hall section here is nowhere near as open as it is in Battlefield 3. There's not too many large sections of track where there aren't Metro cars on them. And then you'll also notice that coming up what are stairs, these would have been the escalators in Battlefield 3, the areas that are up above the tracks are much smaller as well before you go back outside. So. The whole metro section has kind of been shrunk down a little bit. And that might sound bad because you've got 64 players running around in it. But actually, I think it makes it better because of the extended flanking routes outside of the metro tunnels. And you'll get to see some gameplay of that later in the video. I've already found that you'll love this map if you are a medic player because there are so many people to revive. There's so much health to chuck out. You can hit fire people relatively easy with your SMG, as you can see there. <laughs> Two headshot kills, which is not too bad. But yeah, medics are going to absolutely love this map. The shorter ADS time that you get with the SMGs means you can instantly start firing on people when they pop up in front of you. And you're helping out your team all the time because you're just chucking out health like there's no tomorrow. I think Medic is probably going to be one of the most dominant classes on this map. And surprisingly, in the first few rounds, I didn't see as many support players running around with MMGs as I thought I was going to. But I'm not going to say that there's no MMG meta because I'm pretty confident once people know the layout of the map, they will start lying down on the ground with their MMGs and, uh, and start taking people out that way. But in the first few rounds, I, I saw Medic was an extremely popular class to play. I'm really liking this section of the map. This bit that you're watching here is just one continuous clip with the Tommy gun. And it's like a really, really claustrophobic area just before you come out of the metro into the German streets above. And like, the enemy team can just look down into these tunnels and they can see you so easily. But for some reason, they just weren't being particularly aggressive. This guy here just like turns around and deletes me off the map. And maybe I should actually talk about that now uh, because I've spoken to a few of my friends about this and they're experiencing the same problem. Performance on this map at the moment is not particularly great. So for reference, my PC, I'm running the game at 1440p on a 165Hz monitor and then I've got an 8700K CPU, uh, an RTX 2080 Ti graphics card, so arguably one of the best graphics cards in the world right now, and 64GB of RAM. And as you can see, the FPS is in the top right-hand corner. And it's only being able... Look, it's down at 80, 90 FPS. If you've been watching any of my other videos, besides the ones on Alson Dan, where we also have performance problems, unfortunately, you'll notice that my gameplay tends to come in around sort of 140, 150, 160 FPS. Of course, you're watching a, a 60 FPS video, so you won't be able to see too many of the performance issues that I'm talking about, but the FPS counter in the top right-hand corner is showing you just how much variance there is in the frames per second. Like here, I'm getting 88, now 76, there's 77. Look back around the corner, sometimes it goes back up. Look, back up to 115, back down to 90. It's all over the place. And so at the moment, performance isn't particularly great. I've spoken to other people that I know who also have really beastie setups for Battlefield 5, 
and they're experiencing similar problems. I've actually also had messages from people who play on console who are saying that on the PS4 Pro that they're playing on, they're having some frame issues. And particularly in the first sector of breakthrough on this map, performance absolutely tanks. You're outside and there's a lot to render in. And just it doesn't feel like that area of the map is particularly well optimized. And as I say, I'm running a really, really powerful setup for Battlefield 5. So I shouldn't really be having these issues but unfortunately I am so I just thought it's worth letting you guys know if you have the same sort of performance problems it's not just you it seems to be a larger problem with this map but yeah whilst this gameplay has been going in the background you've just been watching just the meat grinder that is this style of map the metro style of map and like I said this is not a one-to-one -one recreation of metro it's its own map really and I actually quite like that it's its own map I like the fact that it isn't just a straight redo of Operation Metro. I like the fact that above the tracks, there are windows where you can look down onto the tracks if you control the flag above it, and that gives you better lookout so you don't just have to control the two stairways. This clip here, <laughs> the triple kill with the Suomi, that made me laugh whilst I was playing. It was like, this is like one of those quintessential Metro moments where no one's paying attention, <laughs> and I get loads of kills out of it. But no, I had a lot of fun doing that. This is the outside section that I was talking about. And you're definitely going to see some performance problems here. So this is at the start of a round when we were defending on Breakthrough. And if you look at the top, 600 attacker tickets on Breakthrough. There's 900 tickets in a round of Conquest. And there's 600 attacker tickets that you start with on Breakthrough. So dice are going all in with this meat grinder meta. They're just like, you know what? You wanted the meat grinder. We're going to give you the meat grinder. So I'm not too uh, I'm not too unhappy about that. I personally quite like this style of Battlefield game or this style of Battlefield map. So if DICE wants to give us all the tickets for it to be a proper meat grinder, then, you know, absolutely go for it. Now, unfortunately, yes, this is where the performance issues really start to, to show up a little bit more, down to 70 FPS here. I really shouldn't be down at that with a, an RTX 2080 Ti, but... Aside from the performance issues, this area of the map is one that I really, really like. Uh, there, it's a lot more open, and it kind of replaces the park from Battlefield 3's Metro uh, if you play that map on Rush, because Breakthrough is kind of like Rush. It's this procedural linear mode where you work through the different areas. If you play BF3 Metro, you'll remember the park area with the big lake, and it was the first set of MCOM stations in Rush that you got to play on that. That didn't appear in the Conquest mode. Conquest was all in the underground, so... I kind of like the fact that Breakthrough and Conquest allows you to get back outside the Metro on this side and you can sort of enjoy this area. It's kind of, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Rotterdam, this section, but there's a lot more ambience here. There's like an air raid siren going off in the background and the fact that there are 64 players compacted into what is quite a small space. It means that there's more atmosphere than Rotterdam and you guys know how I feel about Rotterdam and it basically being the library of Battlefield 5, so... Here on Operation Underground, th this section that, even though it looks like Rotterdam, it doesn't have those same ambience problems that Rotterdam does. And at this point, I'm actually trying to unlock the new Masson MG, so that's why I'm chucking out ammo like there's no tomorrow. But the LS26, if you guys haven't unlocked this or you don't use it very often, you should be because it's actually really, really good. It's got such flat recoil on it. It's only got 20 rounds in a magazine before you have to reload, but... This thing is absolutely deadly, and I've forgotten just how good it was. But no, I've been really enjoying it. I think I actually used it for the first time when we were playing on... I think you could unlock it right at the end of Chapter 3 when Mercury came out. And so it was a gun that I used a lot whilst I played on Mercury. I can see myself using this gun quite a lot here on Operation Underground. But yeah, this clip here, you can see we're still at 539 tickets for Breakthrough. And it is just complete meat grinder there's just players everywhere they bunch up behind cover there are a few mmg bipodders around so you do have to pay attention to them but even though you would think that there are lots of places out here for the bipodders to be there aren't as many as you think and actually it's more about moving around and trying to get onto the flag capture zone because as the defenders you basically spawn onto the capture zone and it's up to the attackers to push all the way through if they don't push quick enough you can get locked pretty quickly down at the end of the road because that section at the end being able to look down this road here you've got all these players looking in on the side of you and so 
it's not ideal for MMGs because you kind of need to be looking straight back at the defending team if you wanted to use them. But you don't really get to do that in this section. You're sort of looking from the sides of the road. So MMGs aren't really, uh, they're not really as prevalent. And this this bit of gameplay here I really liked actually. Um, this is the, uh, the German side of the map where you spawn and then the building that's on the left here is like the German town hall for whatever city we're in. I'm not sure what city we are actually in, but um, but yeah, there's this section on the on the right hand side that's like got a, a pipe that's been exposed by the big explosion that's gone off, and uh, it creates a really nice flanking route for the attackers because they can get in round the back of the town hall. But it also means that the defenders have got a place to sort of to utilize here because it's a very open section here with the road, and so if you're not using the tunnel, you can be completely exposed. But, um, but no, I just thought this would be a nice clip to, to end the video, really. And I, I only made this video because I wanted to show you guys what Operation Underground is actually like in Battlefield 5. And as far as I'm concerned, it's a great addition to the game. I know this kind of style of map and this style of gameplay really isn't for everybody. But that style of gameplay has now been limited to the Metro only, really. And DICE has very cleverly added two sections either side of the Metro that make it feel like a more normal map. And so it's got a little bit for everybody. It's still going to be infantry centric. It's still going to be chaotic, but I've been having a good time. So I'm going to go back and play some more. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching this video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, let me know what you think of uh, Operation Metro down below in the comments section. If you've played it yet, if you haven't, just let me know how you're feeling down below in the comments. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.